Hi everybody and welcome to the Coach Jason Simpson Show here from Snappy Tomato Pizza. Skyhawks coming off a difficult loss at Murray State this past weekend. UT Martin had won over Ohio Valley Conference foe Eastern Illinois to open up the conference season, but bounced back. We did not against Murray State. Murray jumped out to a 28-7 lead in the first quarter at Stewart Stadium and they win the game the final 52-16. Coach Jason Simpson and I had a chance to sit down and watch the game film as the Skyhawks fell at Murray State. UT Martin at Murray State with Coach Jason Simpson. Let's watch the game film. I opened the kickoff here and got a break. Thought we had some momentum going here. Um, you know, they had a good return, but the fumble and get the ball out and got a good field position. But uh, you know, obviously, we're not able to do anything with it. We actually, on that opening kickoff, had three guys hurt uh, concussion, uh, a knee injury. Very unfortunate. It was a punt from Joe Hook. You know, we're, we're kicking the ball, we're kicking the ball to uh, deep right. And uh, you know Joe's had a good a good season up to this point, but he just um, you know he misses Mark, and he's got to do his job, and so he kicks it outside the hash, which messes up with our uh, you know with our coverage, and then they're able to break and tain, and you see us all kind of bunched up there and able to break it out and get a big block, and uh, you know just um, poor execution on our part on our punt team. Got Murray on special teams there taking it into the end zone taking the early lead here's Carr and McNair you know and, and these are things dealing with you know young young receivers that 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 experience will come we don't get the signal run a little bubble screen this was kind of the um, just the um, the theme of the night here this wide out supposed to be blocking man on here and we're just throwing it out the, in, in the flat to Jason McNair and we don't get the signal and therefore we don't get the corner blocked and you know come up and we, and, and no gain, and those things, um, you know, just lack of execution offensively. Murray back with the football. There's Earhart. You know, this is the, uh, the the recurring theme of the night. We've got our best football player, Josh Bay, here, and run the little bubble screen the first play of the game. Them offensively, he's got a chance to make this tackle, and he's made it before, and he doesn't make it, and they're off to the races, and uh, huge gain, and and um, you know, significant momentum swing. Kendall Harper forces him out of bounds there. You know, a little, little trick play here. Uh, you know, we had a good call here. We're supposed to be in cover three in our backside corner here. Chases the receiver across, and they do the little quarterback throwback. We've got nobody on this side of the field. And scheme us up, and we don't execute, and they walk in the field for another touchdown. And with that, Murray takes a 14-0 lead. A little reverse play there to Mo, and, uh, you know, makes a little nice little 10-yard gain for us, a little misdirection. Murray back with the football. You know, just missed tackles. T.J. Drake for there were missing tackles and, and letting their wide receivers turn short passes into big plays. Another first down for Murray. Here they go again. Not getting off blocks, getting blocked down the field. Just, just, just poor execution and, and poor effort. That was the quarterback for them, Brockman. And Brady into the end zone. We had some positive things happen on some of these kickoff returns. I thought A.J. did a nice job. and. When we did block for him, and you know, anytime you can get the ball out to the 30, the 32, 35 yard line, that's a positive return. Nice play here by Derek and, and Ben Everett here on the little bootleg, and you know, trying to get a little spark, get something going offensively. Milligan big in uh, this drive. There's a and, catch from him. You know, not the perfect design play, but Derek and, and Millie worked a uh, good combination there, and trying to give us a little momentum and, and get a score and. You know, nice little play action there, corner with the back in the flat, and Derek makes a nice throw, and uh, Millie makes a nice catch, and and uh, you know, trying to build off this. I think at this point we cut it 21-7, and, and see if we can get back in the football game. Here's the point after, and at the end of one quarter of football, 28 to seven, a lot of scoring in that first quarter, which almost took an hour in real time. You know, just 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 bad tackling right here. I mean, bad angles, guys. Uh, Putting their head on the ground, uh, you know, not getting their eyes up, and uh, you know that's that's not that's not the way we want to play the defense. Mike Harris for Murray scoring a touchdown. You know, and, and Derek, these are completions, but we've got to get him to be more accurate here and and give us an opportunity to turn those six-yard runs in, or passes into nine and ten-yard uh, completions. Carr again for the pass. You know, Derek did some positive things. We've 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 got to be able to keep him off the ground. He's taking too many hits, and we've got to do a better job in the protection. And, and some of the times he's got to get rid of the ball. Once again, bad, poor tackling. Uh, we're standing around, and um, you know, very very disappointing. Earhart in the quarterback now for Murray, and he's a good player. He did some good things. Uh, both those quarterbacks were very accurate, and um, you know, you give him credit where credit's due. 
Here's Carr. Nice play out in the flat to Mo, making somebody miss and you know turn a short pass into a good gain and uh, you know Mo's doing some good things each week. This time the receiver will be Thompson. You know we need Chris to start coming up big and, and over at that X receiver and making some big plays and we think he's capable. Nice run with Jason there around the edge. It's a big 14-yard uh, pickup. Nice job by Derek going through his progression, getting the ball back to, uh, to to Red on the backside dig. You know this was very unfortunate and this is a lesson that, that Derek's got to learn. Uh, you know his his turnover on the night. We run a little bender route here by Kenny Jones. We've been throwing the corner route. This time we called it where he crosses the face of the safety. Uh, with the fullback in the flat. Normally we read this route low to high, but on this particular route we read it high to low. And so he's looking down the field trying to get the get the ball to Kenny Jones here. He didn't think he had an opening, which you know he does if he throws it off the Mike's ear here. So he comes back down to the second receiver and he's trying to throw the ball away because they've got good coverage here. The back should cut here. He gives up a little pressure. Derek's not able to step into this throw as he's trying to throw the ball away. And it comes up short and the, receiver, the DB goes up makes a nice play and, and stops a potential scoring drive. Yeah, it was Nathan Brinkley with the interception, Murray still with it. Some encouraging things, there's OB, uh, one of our true freshmen, you know, run the alley making a tackle, OB made some nice plays. Here's another one by a true freshman, OB, uh, from Cincinnati and, and you know, those, those young players are, are starting to make some plays on defense and that's good to see. You know, it's a stop for loss. At times it looked like it was supposed to look like on defense. Nice job by uh, uh, you know our staff, uh, Coach Burden on our punt return team, and and to get two blocks on the night, and, and and try to give us some momentum before half. And there was eight seconds left on the on the clock there, and we get get the opening drive, and can we go back and and um, you know score, put some points, and and doggone if we don't fumble the opening kickoff, and you know just takes the the wind out of our sail, and uh, you know that's not how you want to start the first five minutes off of the, of, of the second half. Field goal attempt, no good there from Cullen for Murray. Scott Hawks back with it. You know, Derek once again taking a hit, but standing there making a throw, and and our tackles have got to do a better job, and and um, you know use some better technique, and 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 keep those defensive end off our quarterback. Murray back with the ball after the drive. You know, not, a couple nice breakups here in our secondary, and you know held them at least to to a field goal. Skyhawks trailing here 45-14. Let old Julius get in the game and he ran hard and, and made some things happen at quarterback. Just sometimes his lack of experience shows up. But uh, you know, he's getting better and, and you know making a few plays here. These 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 reps are very um, crucial in his development as a quarterback. Yeah, we saw him pass the ball a couple times there. He did, he did, you know, now he got kind of shell shocked on a couple of these and really didn't step into the throw, but uh, you know, he he's He's a good player for us, and he's actually going to have to play some defense this week. This time we get to the quarterback. You know, finally get the pressure and, and, and you know, executed the game plan as, as, as we were hoping. Another block punt there. I mean, same punt scheme as we have, and we couldn't get on this one and get the seven points, but we get the safety and get, and get the two and plus get the ball back. 45-16 now the score as we take it into the fourth and final quarter at Murray. Skyhawks with the football. You know, running a double move out there, having to hold the ball a little bit, and you know, we get the pass interference, and uh, got to continue trying to get the ball to Shiver. It's time to pass incomplete. You know, our first read wasn't open. Derek moves around, and you know, we got to extend some plays. Our quarterback does. We got to extend some plays and, and be able to make a play or two down the field. Murray back with a football. You know, there's Obi running the alley again, forcing the ball back inside, and, and Jed Howard there making the play. Cullen will punt it for the racers. You know, very unfortunate. They go their rugby punt just like we do. They do a nice job. The ball hits our uh, Joe Donovan, and you know they recover the fumble. Just bad tackling. We're we're just uh, you know not in our gaps, not playing with our eyes, and uh, you know just letting those runs, those five yard runs, turn into the big gainers. Harris again for them. Skyhawks back with it. You know, late in the game, just trying to get our players, you know, something positive uh, to go into this week with, get some running game going, and, uh, and Tevin Barksdale made a few nice runs. And Barksdale got several touches there in the fourth quarter. Here's Carr. You know, nice job, and this was very scary. Down Chamberlain hit his head on the turf, but he caught the ball and got a concussion, be out this week, but thank goodness, you know, no, no big, um, you know, big injury. Again, Barksdale. 
very, you know, we get it down here, learn a little option play here, get, you know, four or five yards, pick up the first down, and just, you know, trying to get some momentum. And this has kind of been where we, you know, where we've been all year. We're just a little bit late with this ball. You throw a little quicker, maybe the, we score a touchdown, but it's, you know, second goal. And, you know, we quick snap it there and run the power play, and we don't block it correctly, and we end up with no points on the drive. 52 16, Skyhawks fall at Murray. Uh, disappointing, but I uh, got to come back and play this week. Skyhawks fall on the road at Murray State, looking to play Tennessee Tech on a Thursday night game. It's a short week for UT Martin, and we'll have the Jason Simpson show on next week as we break down the film from the Tennessee Tech game. For Jason Simpson, I'm Chris Brinkley. Thanks for joining us.